In this video tutorial, we will explain it to you that how you can prepare the contingency table of the two different categorical variables by yourself in R. To build the contingency table, we are going to use the two different functions of R. The one is going to be a table function, another one is going to be the head margin functions. So let's use these two functions to build the contingency table. Let's first create a variable to store our contingency table and let's name it as a con table. After typing the name of this variable, we will give this a sign of equality and after giving a sign of equality, we will type our function which is a table. After typing the table, we will give the parentheses and after giving the parentheses, we will type the name of the variable that is holding our whole data and that is data. After typing the data, we will give the dollar sign and select our first variable in which we are interested. And obviously, in this case, our variable is a categorical variable. Right now, we are interested in a sex. So let's first select the sex column. After selecting the first categorical variable, now give a comma. And now, once again, type the name of the variable that is holding our whole data set, and that is a data. After typing the data, give a dollar sign. And after giving the dollar sign, select your second categorical variable. And we are going to select the exercise frequency this time. After selecting your two categorical variables, well, let's run this piece of code. When you will run this piece of code, then the contingency table will be prepared for you. And that contingency table will be stored in a variable name, quant underscore table. So let's have a look on it by using a print function. When you will run this piece of code, then this contingency table will appear in front of you in the console. As you can see it here that the contingency table is letting you know about the two different categories. The one is a sex category, another one is an exercise frequency. Uh, one more thing, if you note it here that this table does not have any margins. So what to do? Now we need to add the margins. To add the margins, we are going to use the second function. And that second function is an add margins. To add margins, let's create a new variable that will hold our complete contingency table. Let's say it as account underscore table underscore margins. After typing this name of variable, we will give the sign of equality and we will use our function add margins. After typing the add margins, we will give the parentheses and after giving the parentheses, now we will type the name of the variable that is holding our contingency table. And the name of the variable is quant underscore table. After completing this piece of code, let's run it. When you will run it, then your complete contingency table will be ready and that will be stored in quant underscore table underscore margin variable. Now let's print it. When you will run this piece of code, then you will see the contingency table in the console. Now this is a complete contingency table, having the margins on the right hand side and the bottom. We hope so that now you will have a good idea that how you can build a contingency table on two different categorical variables by yourself in R.